protect black birthing people. Have you noticed how language is changing? Birthing people. Birthing people. At this Zoom congressional hearing, most every speaker said, instead of mothers. Birthing people. Birthing people. Why? Here's President Biden's budget director. We think our language needs to be more inclusive. In the name of inclusion, activists are changing other words. Equality is now equity. Mistress is companion or lover. Affirmative action is diversity. And now speech can be violence. A transgender woman of color walking down the street and being called a man is an act of violence. One of the most pernicious things about the, the social justice control of language is this, this use of the word violence to describe language. Tim Sandifer of the Goldwater Institute. But the only way that we have as human beings to deal with one another is through language, through discussion, debate, deliberation. And if we say that that's a form of violence, then the only way left for us to relate to one another is through power. You're white. Why should anybody listen to you about this? Because what I say has or doesn't have merit on its own. One of the big problems with the social justice movement is the idea that people's mindset is controlled by their skin color. And that, although it may be called anti-racism in today's world, is just plain old, old-fashioned racism. Racism is another word redefined to mean many things. At a conference, this so-called anti-racist author was asked to define racism. I would define it um, as a collection uh, of racist policies that lead to racial inequity that are substantiated by racist ideas. He couldn't define the term. She uses the word to define the word. I could define racism. Racism means to mistreat people on the basis of their skin color or their race. We're in a situation where it can be really hard for us to talk to each other because we don't know what the words we're using mean. Linguist John McWhorter calls woke racism a new illogical religion that misleads. You learn that the idea is that where there are white and black disparities, we're supposed to call that phenomenon racism in the same way as Archie Bunker was racist. The country is going straight into the dumper. <laughs> and it never fully holds together to anybody who really keeps thinking about it. My writer's room is all Latinx. I, I use the term Latinx because Latinx is a gender inclusive term. A Latinx is social justice manipulation of language. The, the term Latino originated in the 1970s as a reaction led by Hispanic people themselves. So they chose the word Latino or Latina. And now here's a largely white, largely middle-class movement of social justice activists coming along and telling other people, no, no, you can't make distinctions in gender that way. What do you mean it's largely white? I think the social justice movement in general is a largely white, upper middle class, college educated movement. You hardly find anybody who is actually in the Hispanic community who prefers the term Latinx. It's hard to keep up with what's okay and what's newly forbidden. For 10 years, a law professor's exam on employment discrimination included the N-word printed this way. But this year... A group of black students decided that they had been injured by seeing that on paper. One of them claimed that they had heart palpitations. I had to seek counsel immediately after the exam to calm myself. The reason they're doing it is not because they're bad people. They're doing it because claiming that kind of victimhood gives them a sense of belonging, a sense of togetherness. The students demanded the professor be punished, and he was. He's been suspended from teaching, all in the name of social justice. Social justice seeks to redistribute wealth and power between groups to suit what some political authority thinks is the right outcome. That's a cheap shot. Social justice just means it's time to pay attention to the minorities that who never got justice. No, that's just ordinary, old-fashioned justice. Social justice tries to take a step from that and say, no, what we're going to do is reorganize how people live their lives. We're going to take away uh, jobs from some people and give them to other people that we prefer. We're going to silence some groups that have heard, been heard more often. It's a beautiful thing, the destruction of words. In George Orwell's book, 1984, the characters speak this funny language called newspeak. Double plus good, eh? that's invented by the state in order to keep them from thinking bad thoughts at all. I don't think there's a single piece of meat in this, Stu. Tastes like meat. Isn't meat at all. At the 
Double plus good. And the idea is that it will control people's very mindsets and prevent them from even imagining freedom. That's the road that we're headed down, I think, with this social justice movement. No justice! No peace! That's why he and McWhorter say... Enlightened America needs to develop a backbone and start getting used to being called racist on Twitter and just withstanding it and keeping their voices out there and making us understand what true justice is. Please share and like this video. That actually helps us and helps us make more. And if you want to directly help us make more, click that button.